Welcome to Laravel Restaurant Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. In the previous tutorial, we add those product to the cart table. When the user is logged in, but there is still an issue. And that is, we have added the product to the cart, but how can we know that who add this product to the cart? So in order to know who add this product to the cart, we need to have user ID column over here. And whenever a user add the product to the cart, we also need to get the user id logged in user id and store it in the database as well so for it in the cart table we are going to add one more column called user id so for it let me just go to my command prompt and we are going to say here php artisan make clone migration then we are going to say here add user id field to then again underscore and we need to measure our table name and here you can see our table name is card so we are going to say here card so you also need to add the s here so you need to say ps direction make migration add user id field to cards so it will let us add one more column to our table so right now let me just press enter and then you can see the migration is created. So right now let's go back to our code. Then we need to go to our uh, database. Inside database we have migration. Then inside migration there you can see we have one more migration here called add user ID feed to cards. Here we need to make some changes in the schema table. Here we need to say dollar table. Then this arrow sign we need to say string to first bracket single position then we need to measure our column name which will be user id and for now let's just make it null able and we can also mention where we want this column to appear let's say we want this column to appear after uh, the price let's say so we can just give another arrow sign here then we can say after to first bracket to single position we can say here price then uh, we need to bring this with a semicolon after that we need to come down uh, to this public function down then we need to say here dollar table arrow sign drop column then we need to mention this column name which is user id so let me just copy and paste it here so after that we can just save this and we'll go to our command prompt again and we're going to set php artisan migrate press enter there you can see migration is successful user id field is added to the cards so if we just refresh our database table there you can see we have one more column called user id and by default it is null so right now what we want is that when the user add the product to the card, we want to get the logged in user ID over here. For it, let's write our code and let me just close this. And I'll go to app, HTTP, controller, then we we'll go to home controller, directly go down. And here you can see over here, we are adding the product to the card. So we're going to add or insert onboard data which is user id so here we are going to say dollar data then this arrow sign and we are going to mention the user id column name then we will give a equal sign and this user id will come from from the card table this one and right now what we need to do is that we need to get the logged in user id and how can we get the logged in user id so for it, what we need to do is we need to say here what, then to first bracket, then this arrow sign, we need to measure our user table name, which is users. Then we give to first bracket, then this arrow sign, we say here ID. So here what is happening is that we are trying to get the logged in user ID from the user table. And in order to use this auth, you need to have uh, add this in your controller okay this auth and also this user model so once you add the user model and this use illuminate support package slash auth once you add those two you will be able to get the logged in user id by writing this single line 
So we are getting the login user ID and then we'll store it in this column. So right now let me just save it and let me refresh. Then let's say I want to add this burger. Let's say here three and click on add to car. There you can see the reload is complete. And if we now just refresh here, there you can see uh, the price is $60 and the user ID is three. So we are also able to get the user ID as well. So right now adding the product to the cart is complete. And there you can see for those two product or two food, the user ID is null. So I'm just going to delete those two from here. And there you go. So let me just add one more food over here. Uh, let's add macaroni pizza. Let's say two or we can say here four, then click on add to cart. Then if we refresh and they can see the user, user ID is three and the quantity changes and also the price changes as well. So right now adding product to the cart is complete. I hope this was easy for you to follow. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.